All right, I've got a 14 millimeter wrench. I'm gonna turn on the ignition and I see that the light goes on. Now, what I'm gonna try to do here is move this bolt, move the rotor until we go, until the light goes off, for starters. So we need to start with the light off. Eventually, we wanna see what happens when the light goes off. Now, one thing that I didn't realize when I started doing this is that the markings on here, there's an LF, which is left fire, I assume, and F, uh, which is the for the right cylinder. Ah, excuse me. It's a little tough bolt. The, uh, the rotor will spin two full rotations for each cycle of, of the engine. So when we get close to LF here, which you might not be able to see in this poor lighting, the light should go on. And we're going to spin here and we're going to go past F. We're going to go past LF again. So now we've been 360 degrees. We're going to go back through F and it goes off. Now we're going to wait to get to LF, which is right here, against the index marker, which is here. So I'm going to try to move this very slowly. LF is right here, and we see that the timing is early because I'm not quite at LF yet. LF is actually here, and the index mark is here. All right, so we know the left side is firing early. So I'm going to hook this alligator clip to the right side and repeat, and we're going to see where we are in terms of the right side. So we're going to spin, and here's the F mark, the index pointer, and we are a little late. So there, we're right lined up here, and we're a little late. So fortunately, since left is early and right is late, we can, we can probably do something with this adjustment. What we need to do is we need to move this points, turn the engine off, this points base plate. And we need to rotate the whole thing. Uh, I can't remember if it's left or right. And that should counteract. We'll move it so that the uh, left fires on time. And that should also at the same time make the right fire on time. Let's hope. 